Allah Rahman Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Dear students, hope you are fine and doing well. This video contains informative and concept building material about biologicalism. Let's start our topic. What is biological rhythm? Bio means life and rhythm means periodic recurrence of an event. So the recurrence of an event that is either it is a physiological change or it is behavioral change at regular intervals of time is known as biological rhythm. These are the basic concepts and definitions of biological rhythm. Our body is consisted up of different types of smaller clocks. And biological rhythm is just like a master clock that coordinates and controls all other clocks in our body. So the repetitive pattern of philological processes over a specified period of time is also called as biological rhythm. Look at this diagram. This diagram shows the rhythmicity of philological changes with respect to behavioral changes in a human body. That is how our behavior changes time by time in a day due to the changes in the physiological processes. Look after 12 p.m. our body has best coordination and this is due to the fastest reactions. But when we move towards evening, our body has higher blood pressure and higher temperature. But after midnight to 6 a.m., when we are in deeper sleep, our body has lowest temperature. But after 6 a.m. to again 12 p.m., you know in the morning when we are in fresh condition, our body show high alertness and this is due to the sharpest rise in blood pressure. So this is the good example of daily rhythmicity in human body. Now what are the properties of biological rhythm? First property is bar rhythms have self-sustaining pacemaker mechanism. What is pacemaker? Pacemaker is a part of an organ or the body which controls the rhythmic physiological activities. So this pacemaker regulates and controls all the physiological and behavioral processes with respect to time. Second property is bar rhythms maintain normal cyclicity of our body even in the absence of an environmental cue. What does this mean? This means is that without any stimulus, biological rhythm regulates our body functions. But this doesn't mean that stimulus is not required. Stimulus is required to regulate our biological clocks. The third property is bar rhythms are genetically transmitted. So they have genetic basis and biorhythms are inherited from our parents. Now what are the factors that affect the biological rhythm? Both types of external and internal factors include. First one are the endogenous pacemakers. These are the internal biological clocks. If these are internal then these are present inside our body. The best and good example of endogenous pacemaker is the suprachiasmatic nucleus, which is present inside our brain in the hypothalamus. This suprachiasmatic nucleus coordinates and controls all other clocks in our body. So this is suprachiasmatic nucleus, is the central clock in our body. The second factor that affects the biological rhythm is the exogenous zygebar. What is zygebar? Zygebar is an environmental cue. So the exogenous zygebars are the external stimuli that help to regulate our biological rhythm with respect to the outside of our body. The good example of exogenous zygebar is the light which is responsible for resetting the body clock each day. This diagram shows how different factors affect the synchronization of a biological rhythm. Now, what are the parameters? Parameter means any measurements. So the parameters of biological rhythm means that how we measure the rhythmicity of biorhythms. The first parameter is a cycle. Each biological rhythm is consisted up of repeating units, and each unit is called as cycle. And each cycle is consisted up of different types of phases. Now, what are phases? Phases are the stages that complete a cycle in different spells. So, look at this diagram that any recognizable part of a cycle is also called as phase. The third parameter is a 
period. What is period? The time required to complete a cycle is called as period. The last and the fourth parameter of biological rhythm is the amplitude. Amplitude is the rate of change of activity during a cycle. And we measure the amplitude from the rest position to the trough position, that is from the mean position to the extreme position. Now what are biological clocks? Biological clock is a natural timing device of an organism. And biological clock are, is composed of different types of specific molecules made up of proteins. So the biological clocks are found in every tissue and organ almost. What is the function of biological clock? Biological clock helps in the organization and coordination of our behavior. What are the properties of biological clock? Biological clock is sensitive to an environmental view. Look at this diagram. This diagram shows how a biological clock, that is suprachiasmatic nucleus, is sensitive to an environmental cue in the form of light, and it transmits signals to all parts of body and regulate by rhythms. Biological clocks can be stopped and reset, and they are very accurate. Biological clocks are inherited from our parents. Now, what are the uses of biological clocks? Biological clocks help to control our daily body rhythms such as temperature regulation, metabolic rate, urine composition, and also the sex drive. Now, what are the reproductive timings? Biological clocks help to regulate reproductive timing. Reproductive timing means that biological clock regulate breeding cycles and when and where an animal is on heat and also it regulates the spawning behaviors. This diagram shows the sensitivity of suprachiasmatic nucleus. Suprachiasmatic nucleus transmits signals to all other clocks and it gives two outputs in two forms. That is the central output and peripheral output. These two outputs control our physiological and behavioral functions. Now this diagram shows the role of biological clock in our body. Light, which is the exogenous digeber, stimulates the central clock, which is the suprachiasmatic nucleus. This suprachiasmatic nucleus transmits hormonal and neural signals towards other parts of body and skin to regulate physiological processes like cell cycle, temperature regulation, and sebum production. There are four basic types of biological rhythm, that is ultradian rhythms, circadian rhythms, infradian rhythms, and fourth one are the circannual rhythms. But on the basis of origin, there are two types of biological rhythms. First one are the endogenous rhythms. These are internal rhythms and examples include circadian rhythms. The second are the exogenous rhythms and examples include geophysical rhythms. Now what are ultradian rhythms? The period which repeats itself throughout the 24 hour day is the ultradian rhythm. Or the period which is shorter than 24 hour is the ultradian rhythm. Ultradian rhythms regulate both types of physiological and behavioral functions. Ultradian rhythms regulate our physiological functions like cellular processes, our process of respiration and our process of circulation and also the sleep state. And ultradian rhythms also regulate our behavioral functions like feeding cycle. Now the good example of ultradian rhythm is the sleep cycle. Sleep cycle is a process of repetitive cycle of about 90 minutes in length. There are two sleeps in the sleep cycle, REM sleep and non-REM sleep. REM stands for rapid eye movement and it comes after non-REM sleep. Dreams are seen in the sleep mostly and REM sleep comes after non-REM sleep. REM sleep consists of both only one state. Now non-REM sleep stands for non-rapid eye movement. So non-REM sleep is consisted of both four types of stages. In this sleep, there is no eye movement or muscular activity. 
heartbeat and breathing rate is slow during this sleep. This diagram shows that the stage 1 and stage 2 and stage 3 and stage 4 consisted of both no REM sleep, but REM stage is only one in which breathing becomes more rapid. Now, what are circadian rhythms? The cycle of activity with the 24 hour length is circadian rhythm, or the rhythm with the periodicity of 24 hour is also called as a circadian rhythm. Circadian rhythms are internal rhythms, so these are endogenous rhythms. These are present inside our body even in the absence of an environmental cue. Circadian rhythms are inherited from our parents and they are genetic in origin. Circadian rhythms are controlled by biological clocks. And there may be over 100 circadian cycles in human body. Now these are the examples of circadian rhythms. That is sleep wake cycle, our body temperature regulation, our hormonal control, our metabolism regulation, and our expression of genes. This diagram shows a 24 hour rhythm that is circadian rhythm. During a sleep condition, our temperature is lowest and skin cell divides. But during awake phase from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., our body has highest blood pressure and temperature. Now, the third type of biological rhythm are the infradian rhythms. The rhythms that last from over 24 hours is called as infradian rhythms. Or the rhythm that lasts longer than a day is the infradian rhythms. Infadian rhythms help to control our and regulate our temperature composition. Infadian rhythms are also internal rhythms. Infadian rhythms have length of more than 24 hours and they can last after a week or month or even after years. There are three types of infadian rhythms that is weekly rhythms. Weekly rhythms include sexual activity in human. The second type of infradian rhythm is the monthly rhythms, which include menstrual cycle. The third type of infradian rhythm is the annual rhythm, which includes sad and seasonal variation in mood. Now, the good example of infradian rhythm is the menstrual cycle. This cycle is internally controlled by the endocrine system. Follicle stimulating hormone and progesterone thickens the uterine wall by vascularizing it. But when fertilization is not occur, then this wall starts to degenerate and cause a discharge of blood and cell lab is known as menstruation. This menstrual period varies from families to families after twenty two days or after twenty eight days. Now the last type of Biological rhythms are the circanual rhythms. The rhythm that repeats itself after a year is called as circanual rhythm. So the circanual rhythm are also internal rhythms and they repeat itself after 12 months. This is a good example of circanual rhythm in a bird. The bird star Molt, molt after breeding, and after breeding, the birds start molt, and after molt, the bird goes towards the autumn migration. After autumn migration, the period of winter comes, that is the non-breeding period. After the winter, the birds start molt, and go towards vernal migration for breeding, and this complete cycle repeat after twelve months. Now the last is the conclusion and summary. The summary is that a rhythm is a periodically recurring event. Or the most of organisms show daily and annual cycles of activity and development. And all behavior patterns are coordinated through neuromuscular activity or through the central clock in our body, which is the suprachiasmatic nucleus. Thank you.